Buddhism is one of the world's great religions and the thread that links many Asian countries. From its origins in India six centuries before the birth of Christ, Buddhism spread to neighboring Sri Lanka and Southeast Asian countries like Thailand, Vietnam, Myanmar, and Cambodia. To the north, merchants traveling along the Silk Road brought Buddhism to Central Asia, China, Korea, and Japan. By the seventh century, Buddhism even reached the isolated mountain kingdom of Tibet. Today, some 350 million people worldwide follow the Buddha's teachings. In its most basic form, Buddhists strive for nirvana, or enlightenment, a state of complete spiritual clarity in which they feel no worldly desires and are awakened to the true nature of existence. In their pursuit of this goal, Buddhists have created countless works of art, from small images for personal worship to enormous statues intended to bring prosperity and protection to entire nations. Some 2,500 years ago, in northern India, an 80-year-old holy man lay dying. Known as Siddhartha, he had once been a prince and lived in splendid palaces with beautiful gardens. At the age of 29, he decided to seek the meaning of life and death by leaving his sumptuous surroundings and embarking on a spiritual journey. Now, half a century later, a community of monks gathered around him to hear his final lesson. Earlier in his life, while quietly sitting in meditation, Siddhartha came to several important realizations known as the Four Noble Truths. First, life is suffering. Second, suffering is caused by desire. Third, to end suffering one must overcome desire. And fourth, the way to overcome desire is to follow the Eightfold Path, eight habits of thought and action that help people lead compassionate lives free from desire. Siddhartha gently touched the earth to witness his revelation. Henceforth, Siddhartha was known as the Buddha, or Awakened One. He spent the remainder of his life teaching his doctrine to others. Like monks today, the earliest Buddhists sought enlightenment by striving to live exactly as the Buddha had, leaving their families and giving up their belongings to live as monks. Theravada Buddhism, or the Way of the Elders, continues this tradition and is now the most common form of Buddhism in Southeast Asian countries like Thailand, Vietnam, and Cambodia. Images of the Buddha from these countries recall important moments from his life, like calling the earth to witness his enlightenment, or walking from place to place to spread his teachings, or being sheltered from the rain by a giant many-headed cobra who opened his hoods to form a canopy over the meditating Buddha. Artists also depicted him with long earlobes, recalling the heavy jewelry he wore as a young prince, and with a bump on his head called an ushnisha, a small whirl of hair on his forehead called an urna, and soft golden skin. They showed him wearing the simple robes of a monk to recall his lifetime as a wandering holy man, and standing or seated on a lotus throne, since lotuses symbolize spiritual purity. A second major branch of Buddhism offers the hope of personal salvation to ordinary people as well as monks. Mahayana Buddhism, practiced in Central Asia, China, Korea, and Japan, teaches that everyone has the potential to achieve enlightenment through prayer and devotion to many other deities in addition to the historic Buddha. Mahayana Buddhists recognize a vast pantheon of heavenly deities, including a number of other Buddhas. Artists created complex diagrams of the Buddhist cosmos known as mandalas. Sometimes the historic Buddha is at the center, as in this example from Tibet. Other mandalas feature other Buddhas, such as this example showing Amitabha, the Buddha of Western Paradise, surrounded by his heavenly palaces. Mahayana Buddhists also look for help from spiritual beings called bodhisattvas. A bodhisattva is an enlightened being who postpones his or her Buddhahood in order to help others. Unlike Buddhas, with their simple monk's robes and dangling empty earlobes, bodhisattvas usually wear elegant hairstyles and fine jewelry earrings, armbands, and necklaces, a sign that they have kept their ties to the world. In Tibetan Buddhism, Shaktis are female counterparts for each of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Vidya Rajas are wrathful deities, 
angry at humankind's indifference to the Buddhist law. Artists depict them with scowling faces and fangs, and they often carry weapons to symbolize their destruction of deluded thought. The other deities are classified into a general category known as devas or heavenly beings. Many devas serve as celestial guardians of Buddhism. The four guardian kings, or Lokapala, protect the four directions of the Buddhist universe from any who would challenge the Buddha's law. Gate guardians, too, are devas. Placed at the entrances of temples, they protect the sacred space and all who enter. One has an open mouth, uttering the syllable ah, and the other's mouth is closed, producing the sound un. Together, this mantra symbolizes the beginning and end of all things, and serves as a reminder of the brevity of life itself. In addition to divine beings, artists also created religious images of people who played an important role in the development of Buddhism. Some of these people were direct disciples of the Buddha. Others were responsible for building magnificent temples for Buddhist worship. Buddhists believe that the deeds of these people were so remarkable and meritorious that they were living bodhisattvas and thus worthy of respect and veneration in their own right. Buddhist art can take many forms, from books and painted scrolls to three-dimensional sculptures of all sizes. Some Buddhist art is even created from colored sand. Since artists of different countries rendered Buddhist deities differently, Buddhist art can seem complex and confusing. But for Buddhists, art helps them envision the abstract teachings of the Buddha in tangible form. That these images are also often mysterious and beautiful allows us all to appreciate the skill, imagination, and spiritual devotion of the artists who created them.